Hey, hello everyone, this is the Russian person. How are you? Fourth third room, let's play episode is the Russians. Now, we got a disaster, but that's gonna not take too long. 1676, when does this end? 1672, alright, we're in good. We're in a good spot now, however, we do have some wars. Well, two wars to be exact that we gotta deal with. Um, mostly, we actually do have more states. Yeah, we have like a few more states, but I'm not gonna about them right now go speed three got our uh, good good stack over here we can definitely siege more i would totally siege that of course we lost uh, the seaman guy and we stack wiped something somewhere but i did not see it so there we go all right i'm gonna move there i'm gonna kill that stack right there so obviously do I'm trying to chase this stack as much as I can, but, you know. Why is Brandenburg claiming all this crazy stuff? They're insane. Literally insane. And they still have a war going on here? No, that, that war is over. There was like a big war in Europe. Alright, so do we want to end Sweden? Uh, someone in the comments said to attack Sweden, and yes, I'm going to, but first I need to save those guys there. Okay, that's going to be important. Now, there are some sieges I definitely need. Yeah, these stacks here are an issue. Nope. Alright, here's how we're gonna do it. Alright, we're gonna go there. Support with 15k art, and that's gonna be more than enough. I'm gonna send in more art as well, just in case. There you go. We actually have artillery in the first row, which is like horrendous, but you know, it was. Could have been worse. Alright, I need to now send more stacks out though. Like. Alright, then I need to send those guys to Datong, and that's gonna be good, right? Alright. Definitely need to siege that fort though. Alright, please guys, 21%. There's, there we go, they're going. We gotta keep chasing them down there though, it's quite important. I hate how they're like sieging more and more and more stuff. Okay, can we please get a good minister here? I guess that's not an option? Okay, sure. Really prestige or missionary strength. Ah, go for the yearly prestige guy, whatever. It is not ideal, we need a proper advisor. Alright. Ooh, there we go. How's the battle going? What do I have on the front line? It's okay, we got mostly infantry and we don't have artillery in the back line right now. We do, but we get the proper mortars in the back line, but it's not enough artillery actually. Yeah, we made some mistakes. Oh, guys, stop. Right, so I'm gonna catch him there, then I'm gonna continue along. Alright. There we go, I, I caught them. That's a minus three, but considering our advantage. We did just literally, we literally just like crushed them, you know? So I'm gonna stop that stack there, because I can. Now we did get some some further sieging done here. Now why do I have such high war score? Because won enough battles from a lot of battles, some occupations, sure, but not that much from occupations. Not as much as I hoped at least, and of course there's more stacks here, which is annoying, but hey, we gotta deal with it. And yeah, we're gonna go for Sweden afterwards. Now the Persians, we can totally fabricate lame somewhere do we merv like whatever yeah then the persians are actually they could very much be next so why not you know that would be a proper oh really we cannot siege because we don't have enough actually pretty insane okay. let's export and that's not enough to siege okay sure that's insane. Wow. It's 9k. Yeah, that's 9k. It's really an insane amount. 
So we're being attacked here. Minus two. We could potentially stack wipe. Well, we definitely could if we had the leader. But looks like we did it anyway. So that's very good for us. And we're gonna get three more sieges very, very soon. Now this siege here isn't gonna progress as quickly now, is it though? Hmm. Stop claiming stuff. Okay, okay. 28%. That's... I don't like that. But this is a desert. This is mountains. So quite happy with how this is progressing this is of china okay we got even more claims okay i am even happier now then <laughs> right now the Ch chuck die though they gotta die you know so yeah. continue sieging now how's the war score like because they do actually occupy some stuff okay occupying that is actually quite a bit and now we of course are occupying them too so there you go now, I would like, of course, to own a lot more stuff on Chagatai, but I also want to prevent the others from eating it, so that would not be a bad idea. And then, of course, I would like to eat all this stuff over here. That would be helpful, so there you go, that's a lot, and we're gonna get some stuff too, but I'm also gonna take that, there you go. And that's 65%, which is very close to however much we need to finish them off, you know. That's fine. Yeah, the siege here is, we're not gonna get that first turn. We're running out of manpower, I just realized. It's no good, even though we gain a lot each month, which is great, you know, but it's not really enough. Chagatai, can you? Looks like not really. Because... The man succeed war score, okay. Sure. Sure then, my mates. As you wish. Please get that siege though. There we go, we actually got it. So there could be... Opportunities here, which would be great. Now who's gonna get there first? Who has higher maneuver? Let's take a look. So the artillery here. One maneuver, four maneuver on the guy with no artillery. So that's perfect. That is actually the best situation, uh, honestly. Okay, this is... What is happening here? No, we cannot stop them anymore. That's bad. That is bad, but looks like we might, might just win anyway. But we lost so much. We lost 12k artillery. That is an unbelievable amount, honestly. It's way too much artillery, honestly shouldn't lose that much. But anyway, here we, we are soon gonna be done. We can just stack wipe them one more time, I guess. Yeah, we totally need more manpower. Like, this isn't cutting it whatsoever. I would like to raise additional levies, but they don't really like me right now, or do they? Okay, I'm gonna raise some levies, and they still like me, so. You know what, 80k manpower, that's pretty good, honestly have enough to reinforce all we need however i do need these guys back and i am cutting down on attacking ming in the meantime while we're finishing off chagatai as we are here that's a lot so i'm gonna not take everything as i'm gonna take a bit of money and i'm gonna pour all of this first of course turn everything into a core just like that and then we can move across here and for ming well, there's a lot to take, of course, and from the Ottomans. We kind of want... You know what? Why not Macedonia, you know? Like, pretty good stuff. Yeah, let's take it. Holy war against Jaunpur. Okay, now we have a border with Jaunpur, so we actually have, like, actual stuff we can do against them, which is even better, you know? Okay, so that desert there is being sieged by them, as is that desert, but that's okay. Now Ming... We can definitely do quite a bit to them. But there's actually a lot that we heard to make, which we should totally do. But yeah, we actually want to... We want this land. Okay, they would actually accept quite a lot, which... That does make me happy, because I, I'm not sure if I want to keep fighting this. Actually, I do, because... I need to wait until overextension is done. And, uh, where's When is that going to be? That's going to be for, like... Okay, that's until 72, so there's plenty of time, really. Like, almost like three years, basically, so... We can just essentially continue fighting, then. I do not mind. 
And that's going to be a lot of development that we're going to steal off of Ming, which is, of course, very, very nice. We're at 2.6k there. Of course, what I want to do, though, I'm not going to tag these guys just yet. Once I got my troops here, I'm going to go in. I'm going to go for the jugular. Come on, guys. Okay. Such slow movement. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to move along to the other one. Funny how they all take like different routes. Interesting. Okay, so can we actually destroy them? That would be nice. Please do. Okay, there we go. Getting absolutely smashed. There, there we go. They lost a lot. We lost quite a bit of infantry, but it's okay. Infantry combat ability increased. That's very nice. There, he's could be better, but yeah. I mean, he. Could be worse. It's like just average, basically. Nine. Okay, okay, okay. No, we cannot go in there first. Now, if look at this. Who's gonna get there first? Fifth of March, fifteenth of March, sixteenth of March. That's actually perfect. Now, there's obviously more stuff to siege, so let's go for that. And yeah, basically we have like a lot of artillery at our disposal right now, which is great because that's what it should be like. And there we go. Wait, wait. We actually have our tour in the first row because we don't have enough infantry. Yeah, that's a bad idea. But still, pretty effective overall for us, even though, like, it's a really bad idea. Oh my goodness. Could have easily avoided this. No, we couldn't have, actually. Okay. I need a lot of stacks back then. Like, this stack, you guys need to be back ASAP. Then. I could raise some Streltsy. Yeah, I need to raise some Streltsy. Oh, maybe not there, but you know, or very close. Okay, we actually, that's, okay, that, I can live with that. It's a great start. That's one way to relieve our capital. There's more, but not actually as many as I expected, which is just enough. Assigned to the 4th army. 4th army is right over there. But yeah, okay. I'm just gonna go chase them and there's obviously more to do, so... Alright, so now, then I'm gonna go to Zev and then there's Torsok there. Yeah, no, no, no. I can just be more than fine there. Malita chase something, you know. And then I'm gonna go down right over there. We're gonna be fine, right? All right, so I'm gonna send some stacks there. And these guys here, they need to siege, and they need to siege fast and faster. There we go, that stack is easy, super easy. Now we got more stuff here. These guys don't even have leaders, which is even better for me, really. I'm gonna go get Luta, and there we go, another nice stack wipe. No, you guys stayed there. What? Really? No. Okay. Alright, that's good enough for me. I'm gonna kill him, then I'm gonna go back and get the hell out of there. Still losing a bit of manpower, but it's good that we actually saved our guys there. Okay, can you guys kill him? Would be nice. Okay, now I, I can get Maluta back. I'm actually gonna get out of there before I get there. Okay. Okay, then. Right, now they're getting a lot of sieging done, actually, which is not good for me. That's only a level 2 fort, which is, you know, more than fine. And those mountains there, they will really let us do a lot of stuff. Okay, so we stack like that stuff. Okay, can you guys just get in there and, like, be ready to support just in case? Alright, there we go. Now, we got the units we need. We're still losing a lot of money because we got a lot of troops. So there you go. However, again, as mentioned, we kind of should get ready here. This is a weird, yeah, like we're sieging as much as we can right now, really. But and in those mountains, we don't have artillery, and they even have 30k. But I think even without artillery. Gonna be more than fine here, right? Oh, they're no, they're, they're, they got out. They abandoned the siege. Why you do this? That's not making me happy, but okay. 
Well, that's still fine because then I don't fight them and they don't siege, so yeah, that's okay with that. Surely yeah. No, no, no. This these forts here are just horrendous and we don't have the money to spend on like actually buffing them, so it's not great. Now do we have any state edicts? Really? Why have we done this? We don't need that state edict right over there. Now the Ottomans there, they do need to die. We gotta fabricate a claim on... Hmm. Yeah, that's, that's, those are some good claims. So I, I can, I can live with that. Of course, going for Sweden next is not a bad idea. We gotta get back our guys though. Okay, sure, lose some ducats. I mean, that's okay. German navies, all right. Now though, we are soon coring this or well, not too soon, you know, but pretty soon. Like a bit over a year. Okay, that's, that's an annoying stack. And I'm not happy that they literally spawned on me. That's not nice of them, but again, we're on 66%. That's pretty good. They're taking a lot of attrition. Let's take a look at the ledger and see the amount of troops. Ming's only on 100k and they barely have any manpower and they're on lots of mercs now. However, now there was a way to check if somebody's got like... Uh, Dead. I think it's somewhere here. I can't remember where. I keep I keep forgetting. Oh, that's that's sad. Okay, no no no. I need to look at like uh Ming. It should say somewhere, right? I really don't remember where it does. But it does somewhere over here. Or not. Apparently not, but, you know. Where is it really? Maybe not. Well, I'm pretty sure you could see the death. That we're number one GP, which is... A lot more than Spain, for instance. Yeah, it really... I mean, it's supposed to show here. Russia are the greatest. Of course, we are the greatest. Missing some stability, which is a good point. Yeah, we have a lot more debt. They actually have some money in the treasury. Yeah, their war exhaustion is pretty darn bad, but ours is more than fine. More techs, okay. But they actually have an extra diplo tech over us, okay. That's that's interesting, but it's not enough, not even close to enough. Anyway, we're just gonna kill him, I'm gonna be more aggressive. I'm gonna siege more. Really, no guy is right over there. All right, well, then I'm gonna go kill him. They need to die. Now, overextension again is crazy high, so we gotta get done by next year. We really do. But yeah, okay, we just won another siege, which is huge. But yeah, all these forts are like so little. It doesn't really matter now. The man exceed war score, it's a pretty big deal. Okay, are they? They are actually attacking me in the mountains, or they were. Okay. Fair enough. That would have been really good for me if they actually attacked me in the mountains, but it appears that they did not, which does, again, make me a little bit sad. Okay, so that battle there, proper general, which is going to be this guy, fight for me. I don't have any artillery, which could make this a tougher sell, but, you know. I'm gonna go over to Beijing. We just got Tian Shui, which means we can send those guys. Here. Oh my lord! No, we just barely didn't arrive there in time. Okay, left MLA. Oh my! This is gonna drop our war score if we don't get there in time. Second battle, we didn't get there in time. Oh my goodness! 
We're gonna get there in time for the second battle or for the first battle, which is dropping our wars for significantly. And now we need so much to reinforce because of like that bad battle. That's not good. Really not good at all, but okay. Now that's gonna be a lot of overextension for us, but that battle just like shook us to the core, so to speak. That was really, really bad because it did drop our. Uh... Yeah, we lost like 10 ish wars, even more than 10 war score just off of that. We even have gold for peace! Of course, these guys wouldn't accept. You know? Jesus. That's not good. Maluta, yes. Get Maluta in. Fine. Right. There's a lot of rebellions over there, and these are just like the Russian particularists. Yeah, I should have boosted this, but I can't because of overextension and clerical dominance. When is that over even? 1682, which is a damn shame because it's a really long time. When are they even gonna accept this? Okay, we just took Beijing, which is gonna alter things significantly. Now we're on 85%, which is actually very close to us uh, getting what we need. Alright, then I'm just gonna send them down there because they're being annoying. Okay, so we actually are getting our stuff. Perfect. Oh no, we took the piece too early. We took the piece too early. Oh no, not again. 161% overextension. Rip, boys. Sires of the flesh, sure. Please live until August. Please live until August. Oh no. Please live until August. That was a really bad choice, guys. That was a really bad choice. We could literally die right now. Because of that poor choice, you know. It could literally kill us. And we need... Li we just need to fix ourselves right now. And we're not gonna fix ourselves with what's going on. Okay, we need the Lev and Lev guy. And we just took a massive loan, but yeah. All these rebellions. Oh no, 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 no. You're not gonna go there, okay? Because you're just gonna stack wipe yourself. Alright. Okay, who's here? The Maluta Chilution. Yes. Alright, my man. You're gonna go there, you're gonna crush, and then you're gonna go there, and then you're gonna go there, okay? That's my, that's my hope. That is my hope. Yeah, there's a lot of rebellions that really got to deal with. And yeah, it's, it's gonna be rough. It's gonna be very rough. I need to start sending troops there. But oh boy, come on, August, August can't come by quickly enough. Oh, Ooh, sure. Rebel successful. Too many rebellions. Jeez. And we don't have enough men. We need 116k to kill him. Are you serious? No, we have disorder just as we did that. We gotta spend some verse. That's like... I was looking at it. Like, yeah, let's, let's not take it too early. What did I do? I took the piece too early again. I ate way too much. Way too much. And now our overextension is killing us. It's like just that many rebellions. Ugh. This is no good. I need to send a stack there to unsiege. I need to send more stacks there to unsiege. This stack will be okay if they attack that. Where's my manpower? We are not making any money. No money. No money. This is really bad. Really bad, but yes. I'm gonna end it on this note, so thank you all for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on social media. I'll see you in the next episode where hopefully we will, we will not die because of my stupid mistake.